God, that I, I don't even have to think about that. The best moment of this series is when my son came to my birthday and I saw him walk in the door because he'd sort of said, not coming, Mum. And I thought, oh, well, he'll wake up his mind. So absolute highlight for me. Oh, worst moment was after I'd come from Kettle Black telling Gamble that I'd heard the rumour and I thought she was OK and I got to Chadston and she was totally not OK. And, uh, and I was so surprised and I was completely taken by surprise. It's a bad moment because I, I was completely taken off guard. I didn't. And my second actual bad moment is when I went and had coffee with Gina when she led me to believe that we were going to bury the hatchet and I got in and she attacked me and I was very caught off guard as well. So there are two moments that yeah, both of them... I, I was in absolute shock. I, had, I was not expecting either of them in any way, shape or form. I regret with my whole heart and body telling Gamble that I heard the rumour. If I had my time again, I would... I feel that I did the right thing because I don't think you can start a friendship with someone unless you are, you know, on the level. And I wanted to get to know her and see what her answer to those allegations were. But in hindsight, I would never, ever, ever, ever have done it again. That my, my, it's my greatest regret. <music> to sum up my experience of this season, uh, many big surprises. Good, both good and bad. You know, Jake coming was a great surprise and the other two, well, the way they reacted was totally came out of the blue. Yeah, very big surprises. I'm very, very close to Jackie. I see her and go out with her on the show, off the show, always. Chica. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous girl. Janet. <sighs> Janet sometimes gets herself in a lot of trouble, but unintentionally. If I do say so myself. I, I find with Petty Fleur, when I have a conversation with her, I'm actually having a bit of difficulty gelling with Petty Fleur. Uh, when I have conversations with her, all she says to me is, did you see me in episode two in the purple dress? Did you love that dress? Don't you think I looked sexy in that dress? Did you see my necklace? I looked fabulous in that. Oh. Did you see me in episode four when I wore the yellow? Anyway, after about 10 minutes, I'm starting to glaze over. I'm thinking, are we going to go through every episode here and I'm going to tell you how you looked in every episode? Jackie. Uh, shine, shine, shine. Jackie is just an absolute delight with the most amazing values and morals and I can safely believe every single syllable that comes out of her mouth. Gina, I really like Gina, but I actually feel sorry for Gina. I think that the whole makeup thing and the not going outside and, you know, putting your makeup on before you get back into bed with your boyfriend, and I think that it shows that there's actually a lot of insecurity there. I think that Gamble is an absolute sweetheart. She is, look, okay, she got upset about a rumor. As a person, I've gotten to know her and she is a really very, very, very sweet, genuine girl. Lydia actually has let me down this season. I, I do like Lydia as a person. When I think of Lydia, though, she she's really let me down this season because she, um, on a number of occasions, had an opportunity to say something that wouldn't have, up, wouldn't have been a problem for her, but it would have saved me from a very, very big problem that I had. 